Today we're going to talk about the slightly contentious issue of exercise and rest. We advocate that there be on doing something every single day of the week, every week of the year, so you're exercising every single day. At the same time, we all know, and science backs it up, that the body needs sufficient rest in order to repair tissue, grow muscles, help us get stronger, and help us recuperate. Now, I know that you have experienced days in your life when you thought you could exercise forever. There are days when, for some reason, you feel that the exercise you're doing simply isn't tiring you out enough or you have sufficient energy to just keep on going. And conversely, there are days of the week or days of the month when you've gone onto your sort of designated spot to do a little bit of training or if you've gone to the gym or you've stepped outside and you think, well, you know, just getting dressed, getting putting on your training clothes was exhausting. Now, essentially, that reflects the different levels um, that come into our state of being. We have to have the mood and the psychology and the state of mind and the physicality and our hormonal levels and all those things have to come together. And in a, on a perfect day, we are untouchable. And this is where this thing comes in. Essentially, we exercise every single day to the capacity that we can. And those days when we are tired, those days when we have exercised very, really hard the day before and a night's sleep hasn't been sufficient for us to recover. Well, on the following day, we're still going to exercise, but we are either going to do something which is light or we're going to do something which barely taxes us, again, light, or something whose the intensity of which isn't going to exhaust or drain our batteries. And perhaps we can focus on something which is recuperative, like breathing exercises, meditation, and stretching. So essentially, by factoring in those things on those days, we create a plan which allows us to do something every single day. Now, the habit of exercising every single day long-term is what actually allows us constantly to level up and become better and better and better, but more than that, more than just the functionality of us, because there's going to be a ceiling to that. It allows us to feel that we're not losing ground. It allows us to feel that we're not doing nothing or anything. <laughs> we're not doing anything, which means we're basically uh, taking a step back. So that gives us better control over our life, it gives us better control over how we feel about what we do, it gives us a sense of constantly expanding functionality and allows us to basically factor in training in some description, in some form, every single day so that it isn't something that we do as an add-on to our life, it is simply an integral part of our day and an integral part of our life. I hope this helps. I hope this makes you think about it. Let me know in the comments below. Stay safe out there. Keep on training. Take care.